Hastings is our town, you know it well. From the welcome sign to the high school bell. You say you know it well, that's not quite true. Cause we take a hike, Mike, I'll prove it to you. There's lesser known businesses and some you've heard of more. But it doesn't bother me cause I just love to explore. Interviewing owners and lending a hand. I love to assist for as long as they can stand. Where will I go next? I really can't say. Here's a little warning cause it might be your way. No matter where I go, one thing is true. With Take a Hike Mike, it's entertainment for you. Take a Hike Mike lives on a farm. E-I-E-I-O. I'm Mike Bramer and today I'm spending the day on Bramer Farms. Wait, Bramer Farms? That's right, this is the farm I grew up on. I'll be meeting with Farmer John, my dad, to get the lowdown on everything farm related. Then it's time for chores. My sister Sarah will be teaching me the perfect recipe for powdered milk as she guides me through calf feeding. Next, it's out to the field to play in the biggest sprinkler I've ever seen as we do some irrigator maintenance. And finally, I move into the parlor as I show off my milking expertise and work my mojo as I artificially inseminate a cow. I'm milking this one for all it's worth. Let's hike over and get started. Come on. Well, hello, Dad. Hi, Mike. How's it going? Pretty good. Good, good. So we're here on Bramer Farms with Farmer John Bramer, my dad. So first of all, Dad, kind of talk about um, Bramer Farms and the type of farm that we have here. Well, it's a combination dairy, beef, and grain operation. And uh, everybody, as you well know, is involved in it. <laughs> uh -huh. We milk cows, we have feeder cattle. We grow corn, alfalfa, and oats. And the hay is square baled, which we're sitting on. Yeah, it we makes a comfy couch here, too. Yeah, it does. Should have brought this in the dorm room with me in college. <laughs> We also have round bales and we chop hay for haylage, which is stored in a bunker. And some of the corn is chopped for silage. Mm -hmm. Most of the corn that we combine is grain that's fed to the cattle, like the ones that are behind us. We got 120 cows about that we milk, and then there's probably about 270 head all together. Yeah, and irrigators, that's like the biggest sprinkler that our viewers will probably ever see. Yes. And I like playing in sprinklers, so maybe uh, it's a hot day today. Maybe we'll play in those sprinklers today a little bit too, if that's okay with you. Well, this will be the biggest sprinkler you ever play in. <laughs> and I assume the most expensive piece of machinery is the combine. Yes. And is that, that's got to be really expensive, but is it worth more than the Take a Hike Mike autographs I signed in the house? A little bit, yeah. <laughs> Just to give your viewers a little bit of an idea, the combine we got, if it was replaced brand new with the three heads, it'd be about $400,000. Oh, wow. Kind of explain to viewers the difference between Holsteins and other cows. Well, Holstein cows are black and white. They're the ones everybody's familiar with, and they grow a lot bigger than what the other cows do. They give more milk. They don't give quite as much cream as what the others do, but the milk production is a lot higher. The red is something that's called a red Holstein. That is still a Holstein, but when the genes come together right between mommy and daddy, mm -hmm. you get a red and white instead of a black and white. But they're still a Holstein. It's just that they have red hair instead of black. And they make uh, strawberry milk, right? That's right. <laughs> There's a rowdy party behind us. I always wondered, Dad, what does it mean when they jump up on each other? Are they playing piggyback rides, or what is that? That means they're being intimate. OK. <laughs> That's a story for another day. <laughs> all right, Dad, well, I think that's all the questions I have okay. for you. So I think we're going to take a quick commercial break. And when we come back, we're going to have some fun on the farm and do some chores. So stay right there. Relive the laughs, the hikes, and all the heel clicks again and again with Take a Hike Mike Volume 2 on DVD. It includes all nine episodes of Season 2, plus special features, like the making of the Take a Hike Mike doggy suite at Rio Grande, a birthday surprise, and of course, a blooper reel. Also included is the official Take a Hike Mike button. All this wrapped up once again in that comfy bindle bag for only $20. Available at the Spoolhouse at 108 East 5th Street. Volume 2 on DVD makes a great gift for anyone hiking their first mile or their 99th. So pick up your copy of Take a Hike Mike Volume 2 on DVD today. 
All right, welcome back to Take a Hike Mike here at Bramer Farms with my father, John Bramer. So now we're outside in the field with an irrigator. So dad, tell the viewers a little bit about the irrigator here on the farm. Well, this is just a Renke center pivot. You see a lot of them if you drive around the country. And what we're gonna do here, this pivot, when we run it one direction, we run all the nozzles along the pipe. And when we run it the other direction, this big gun up here above us, we have to turn it on. There's a manual valve on that, so Mike's gonna climb up the ladder and switch the valve. Do you need a license for that gun? Nope. <laughs> so he's gonna climb so up I'm, the ladder you now. You want me to climb up there, huh? Yep. All right. Somebody else is gonna do this is, once. Is there any tips you have for me about climbing this ladder? Yeah, you use it one step at a time. Should I uh, say a little prayer before I go up there? Oh, it's never fell <laughs> so far, so. All right, here we go. Is it supposed to be wiggly? Yep. <laughs> Just go all the way up to the top to where that handle is up there. It's a trait of the Bramer Farms ladder is the wiggle. <laughs> Hopefully these are my final steps. Wow. I'm the king of the world. I'm the king of the world. So dad, I'm at the top here. I can see my house up here. I bet you can from here. Yeah. <laughs> okay, so what do you want me to do now? You squeeze the handle. There's a piece of metal that comes out that handle. Squeeze that in. Okay and then pull it down all the way. It's a quarter turn. I think there's a wasp nest up here. There's a wasp nest up here. Well, then you better go fast. Oh my gosh, oh my gosh there's wasps up here. <laughs> all right. Pull it down and then get down. All the way? All the way. <laughs> okay, I'm coming down. There's like 18 wasps up here. Yeah, dude, I think there's a wasp nest in there. Okay. This well, is insane. No wonder he sent me up there. He knew there was wasps up there. Well, when we run it the next time, we'll get rid of them. <laughs> All right, coming down here. Thank heavens. Saw my light flash before my eyes. There you go. It's very boring. Bramer men at work. Okay. So, Dad, have you ever seen any children of the corn out here? Nope. Nope. I haven't even seen any parents with the corn. Okay. <laughs> All right, so we made it to the corn. We're at this irrigator. Now, what do you want me to do? This irrigator here, when we run the well hard, like on this system, we get sand in the water. Yep. And so we've got a hole in that sand trap, and right now it's pointed the wrong way. So we're going to check the trap, and we're going to turn it to make sure the water doesn't shoot in that wheel track. Otherwise, it starts to bog down in the mud. So let me guess, you want me going up there? Yep, you're going up there. <laughs> Is there any chance, uh, hopefully there's not any wasps up there Well, this I time. don't see anything flying around right now, so. <laughs> All right. You go over there and climb up. So if the, you go around to the other side, there you go, Mike. So this is nice because it has the built-in ladder here. Actually, they've all got ladders, but this is the new style and it climbs a lot easier. Yeah, this is pretty awesome. Wow, this is slightly terrifying. Oh, that's nothing. <laughs> now, you see where the hole is in the sand trap underneath there, Mike? You're on top, look down at the bottom where that handle is. Oh, yeah? That needs to shoot out towards the end gun down there instead of where it is. If it's too high, then go back down a step. Oh, this thing? Yeah. Can I rotate this? Yeah, you might have to unclamp it to rotate it. I don't know. So if I unclamp it, is it going to fall off? No, just put, just grab it. Don't take the clamp all the way. Just loosen it. Just pull it out. There you go. Keep going. Right there. Okay. And now you should be able to turn it. Here we go. If it don't go yet, try rattling it a little bit. Oh, there we go. It should loosen up enough to turn. Maybe there's sand in there right now. I don't know. We might have to take it off and dump it. It's getting harder by the minute here. <laughs> Can you get it or do you need help? Um, I think it's rotating a little. Okay, well, it's got to go a quarter turn. Yeah, I think it's turning. Yeah, slowly and surely. There you go. That's the way. Keep it going. Good thing I used my Bowflex this morning. That's right. Okay, there's nothing but water in there because I see that's all that's coming out the hole. How's that turn? Do you want Give more Give it a little bit more, little more. There you go. Okay, now reclamp that clamp. Okay. Whoops. That's okay. Push fast and hard. There you go. There that's we go. the way. Sounds okay. like my love life. We're all done. Okay. Whew. That one's ready to go. Yeah, yeah. No now, loss up here, so that was if good. If we can get our camera person to shoot up at that light up there, that's yeah. a strobe light. That's for dance parties in the field. That's right, and that also <laughs> flashes when this tower is moving. That lets you know that the irrigator is working like it's supposed to without being at the control panel. Cool, all right, well, I'm coming down here. 
See if I make it down alive. Well, All that's right. irrigator maintenance. Anything else we need to do with these bad boys? No, not today. All right, cool. Today they're good. Let's move on to the next task. Okay. All right. All right, welcome back to Take a Hike Mike here on Bramer Farms, and now we're going to do some calf feeding. So if you want to come with me, we're going to meet up with my sister, Sarah Bramer, and she's going to show me how it works. So come on. Well, hello, Sarah. Hi, Mike. How's it going? Pretty good, pretty, pretty good. good. So you're going to show me how uh, calf feeding works, right? Yeah, you got here just in time. Yeah, you know, I've never done this before, so uh, I thought you could show me around. <laughs> yeah. ha, ha, ha. You are <laughs> so very lucky. <laughs> I've only done it about, let's see, I'm 25, so carry the zero and the two. And 25 years? Yeah, a lot. <laughs> All right. Since I was a baby. As soon as I came out of the womb, they threw me out here and they said, oh, get to work. So, so. lucky. Yeah. All right, <laughs> but at least so. you weren't born in a barn. <laughs> yeah. Well, there we go. Well, there's some famous guy that was born in the barn, and people worship him. Oh, so. I suppose, but let's wanna, not steal viewers, If you want to worship me, that is okay. Ooh. So, so what's first? What do you want me to do first? Um, well, every night when I get in here, the first thing I do is I have to clean up in front of all of their pens. Mm -hmm. So as they kind of spend their day, they start chewing on different things. So mm -hmm. a lot of times you'll see they'll pick up the buckets and throw them on the ground. We can pick those up and put them back in the rings where they belong. And one yours. final question. Are they supposed to be licking my butt? <laughs> because well, I feel something back here. You've made a friend. It's, um, I kind of enjoy it, so let's continue this interview another right. five and a half minutes. Uh, let's move over here so that I don't have to have counsel okay. my cows later. Sounds good. All right, so. Therapy. <laughs> Basically, right, show me how it works all first. <laughs> you pick up the bucket okay. <laughs> and you put okay. it back in the rack. Right. Clean up, clean up, everybody do your share. Clean up, clean up, everybody do your share. I think I'm doing more of the oh. share. <laughs> <laughs> and in case any of your viewers are wondering, the calves that are in this barn are between one and three months old. If they have a yellow tag in their ear, that means they're a boy cow. If they have a red tag in their ear, that means they're a girl cow. And once they're about a month old, they get their tag, and then we can keep track of everybody that way. How do you uh, choose the numbers? The numbers are kind of selected. They, when you buy the numbers, they come in like an assortment bag. Oh, sweet. So it's like, got to catch them all. <laughs> It's like yeah, it's Pokemon. all 150 or oh, more. Wow. Or more to see. <laughs> more. To be a calf feeding master is my destiny. <laughs> then I suppose they're starting to complain. We should probably yes. give them some soup. So now we're going to make them some milk. <laughs> some gruel. And we have a special room over here. Oh, all right. Oh, if I remember, right, this is the room you used to lock me in when we were little, <laughs> yeah. but I got annoying and, Pretty much. and her friends are coming over. She'd put me in and put this cage uh, area right in front. Right in front of you? Well, inside of here, we're, first thing we're going to do, because we're basically cooking for them, so it's kind of like a restaurant. Mm -hmm. So what we're going to do is we have soap over here. We're going to wash our hands first. There you go. So then what we're going to do is we're going to measure up all of the milk for our cows. Okay. So when we do this, it takes a while because there's quite a few over there. So what happens is we're going to make the milk and we're going to put it in the this bucket. Okay. So usually what I do to make sure that the cows get the right amount of milk, if you fill up this pitcher, this is enough for two baby cows. So what you want to do is you want it to be warm, but not so warm that it burns their mouth. That's probably best. Yes. So not scalding. What will happen is you can get about uh, eight calves food in the bucket. Okay. So basically you're going to level it off so mm -hmm. that it's there and then transfer. I was say, it's about 92 degrees right now. I think I'd prefer cold, <laughs> cold milk, milk instead well, of Well, they'll get nice cold milk. water, so. They okay. like their milk warm and their water cold. Okay. Like old people. Yeah. <laughs> we use um, milk powder replacer ah. for our calves. So if you want to take that bucket, we're going to go outside of the door. All right, here we go. Mm -hmm. And you're going to take this, and you're going to put eight scoops into that bucket. Eight? Yep. What if I don't know how to count to eight? Well, I'll help you. OK. Well, you're not a math teacher. No. <laughs> I'll use my fingers. OK. One more. One more. Here it comes. Boom. Eight. All right, now you can stir it all together. Oh, here we go. You want to make sure there's no lumps in there, because that won't be very good. It's kind of like a cake batter. If you don't get all the lumps Ooh. mixed in, you don't want that little ball of fluff in there. That's my favorite part, <laughs> the edible ball. <laughs> the chokeable part. <laughs> and basically, everybody gets one scoop, mm -hmm. and you want to basically be to the bottom of that lip, and then you can pour it into their white or their red bucket, whatever color they have in front of them. All right, here we go. Okay. Speed these calves up. Okay. All right, dip her in. It's about here? Yep. Here you go, bud. There we go. How'd that look? That looked very nice. All right, and we'll go here. Now serving number two. Here you go, number two. 
That's not a very nice name, number two. Number two, mm -hmm. not so much. <laughs> now we're gonna do the patch that weren't patient while we yeah. were making our milk. All right. What's rowdier, the calves or your students at the middle school? Uh, it depends on the day and what we're doing. <laughs> <laughs> this will do your body good. This is kind of like milk break when I was in elementary school. Yeah, kind Except of. they don't need milk tokens. That's gonna be one token, sir. One token. Well, that's not what I had in mind. <laughs> so how am I doing compared to you? Well, I might be done by now. Oh my if goodness. I were doing this. You'd be in watching uh, Jeopardy by yeah. now. <laughs> or the Wheel of Fortune. Yeah. <laughs> she loves the Wheel of Fortune. And then we can skip these two for right now because they are not. They don't old. deserve it. They're naughty. They are not old enough for this type of milk okay. yet. So we have a special baby milk for them that we'll mix up in a little bit. What would happen if you gave it to them? Um, it's not like it's going to ruin them. It would just but, destroy their inner being. <laughs> but um, there's a special baby milk that has different vitamins and minerals and things for it to help them make sure that their immune system gets going in the right way. So basically, way. the it's like going from Flintstones vitamins to yeah. one a day. It basically. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Now that we've washed this bucket, yep. we're going to use it to take water out to them. Okay. Okay. So this time you can just run cold water into this bucket. Okay. What's cooler than being cool? Ice, Ice cold. cold. She didn't find it as funny and entertaining mm. as I did. <laughs> Bramer Farms makes the best water around. Our milk's not too bad, too. Would you like some water? Hey, how are you? We should give this one a name. Do you want to be little Topanga? <laughs> it's little Topanga. Oh, this one. Look at that. They like sucking on fingers. Wow, I haven't had this much action from a girl in a long time. Well, never. <laughs> Good girl. <laughs> okay. So we're gonna do ground feed next. Okay. And ground feed is um, crushed up corn. And then also we have a special machine called a feed mill that we put the corn into and we grind it up. And then we also mm -hmm. mix some other things in there, different minerals and things to keep them healthy. You didn't eat enough today. You didn't eat enough today. You're lucky because it was hot, so they didn't eat very much. Yeah, these ones are on Weight Watchers or something. But <laughs> this is a bigger one, so you can tell the bucket's empty, so we're going to give it a yeah. scoop. She's going to town on it. Oh. <laughs> Should we catch it as it pops No, out? that's OK. We'll sacrifice it. <laughs> sacrifice it? We'll sacrifice it, because you don't have this. to go back and wash your hands again all over. See, now we can save this. No, don't share. <laughs> oh, <laughs> now that one's <laughs> And another thing, viewers, Sarah, you were a dairy princess. Yes, I was. And Sarah actually had her head carved out of a giant block of butter. Mm -hmm. So It's still in the freezer. Still in the freezer. So your head was carved out of <laughs> a big block of butter. So mm -hmm. technically, you're a blockhead. Yeah, so I was going to say, better a blockhead than a butter face. <laughs> <laughs> All right, Sarah, we fed them. We gave them water. We even cleaned up after them. I think we uh, did a pretty good job here, wouldn't you say? I think so. It took us about an hour to do, so not So that's too... record times, huh? Yeah, it might be record setting for the longest it's ever taken to feed this few of cattle. But I think you've uh, enjoyed your stay here. I think 36 is pretty happy. Yeah. yeah pretty happy. Enjoy she can't complain. She's got a full belly, so I guess we'll say nice job and one with a high five. High five. And Dad, soon we're going to be doing some milking. We're about to get the cows in. Kind of talk about the bulk tank room here. Okay, well, when we milk the cows, which you see in a little bit on the other side of that wall, mm -hmm. the milk is pumped through here into what we call a receiver group. Mm -hmm. It's filtered, and then it's pumped through a pipeline into this tank behind us. <clears throat> that tank is insulated, and it's cooled by a compressor in the other room. It works something like what a refrigerator or a freezer does, only it's a lot bigger. The tank holds 1,000 gallons. The milk is pumped in there and stored until the milk truck picks it up, and it's picked up every other day. So you talked about how cool the milk was. Do you think, um, we don't have a hot tub or a jacuzzi, do you think maybe we could hop in and swim around a little bit? No, no. The, the tank is sealed. <laughs> OK, so there's no getting in. Yeah. <laughs> All right, well, uh, let's go get the cows in and let's start milking. OK. All right, now it is the moment you've been waiting for here on Bramer Farms. We are now going to milk cows. And Dad, for the first cow, do you want to kind of show uh, the viewers how it works here? Well, first we strip the cow, make sure the milk is all the okie dokie. Strip the cow, huh? That yeah. sounds kind of scandalous. Yeah, we strip the cow, and then we dip her with this iodine dip. That's a sanitizer. Then after that, iodine's been on there 15 or 20 seconds or whatever it takes to get through the first four. Then we come back and we paper towel them off and put the units on. I'm going to towel them off here. And boom, we'll hook her up. 
Now serving cow number one. Move her in, girl. Come on. Come on, two. Move her in, buddy. Here we go. Come on. We've got automatic takeoff, so all we have to do is put them on. There's one coming off right now. The red light will start to flash when it's getting ready to come off. That's when it's about to blow up? <laughs> yeah, that's when it's going to blow. Then you better run. That's when we run away. And then the final thing we do, Dad, is? we got to dip them again. we got to dip them again. Roll through a lot of iodine dip. Double dipping. I'm not the only dip here. Sometimes if we get thirsty, we could just kind of stick our heads down and get a drink right out of there. But uh, maybe that's not appropriate for today. One, two, three, four. Milk the cows on the floor. And you want to dip up, dip down. And you want to dip. Whoop. And sometimes they kick it. <laughs> some of them appreciate my singing and rapping, some not so much. Or maybe she's just not a fan of 90s hip hop music. Name these machinery brands that relate to the following pictures. Okay. John Deere. Oh, look at that. He, he knows these. Okay. But. Melrose Skid Steer, Bobcat. Bobcat, that is correct. That's two points. And then what about. The Caterpillar. Yep, and the Caterpillar. That's all of them, three for three. The Ziegler Cat with their construction and farm equipment. Nice, he knows mm -hmm. his stuff. That's three more points. Nice work. All right. <laughs> All right, viewers, so uh, once this cow here is done being milked and the milker comes off, I'm gonna go up there with my dad and I'm going to breed a cow for the first time. So, time to turn on some romantic music because the fun is about to begin. I'm all nervous, it's like my first date. What do I do, what do I say? Do I take her out to dinner first? I don't know. Maybe I could get on a pottery bowl with her, put my hands around her hooves and have a moment. Okay, we pull it out of the semen tank out there. Comes in a little straw like this. Cut the end off. This is called a gun. We load it in there. Like that. And then we take and slide it in this end of this pipette. There. Okay, now we're ready to go take care of the cow. Here's your plastic sleeve. Stick the gun in your mouth. Now you're gonna to wanna to squirt some oil on there and make it all slippery. So you take that squirty bottle there, keep that in your mouth. Just squirt that right on there. There you go, good enough. You get too much, you can't hang on to anything. Okay, now we go down to the cow. Here we go, baby. Now you take the left hand, okay. pull the tail up. If I have to, I'll get down and push her over. Take your right hand, make it like this, and put it in her butt. It's gonna go hard. Yeah, we try to find a buckle. Right buckle. under the tail. I don't know if I'm higher enough. It's hard to see. Oh, I think I'm in. It's tight. <laughs> yep. Wow. How far do I need to go? The elbow. Elbow? Oh my god. It's swallowing me up. <laughs> okay, I'm in. Take the pipette out of your mouth with your other hand. Okay. I'm not low the elbow. I have to go in more. Okay. Now you take and stick that in the other hole below your hand. Is it right here, Dad? I can't see from here, but it should be. <laughs> I don't know if she has one. I'm gonna You're in it. the wrong hole. I'm in, whoa. <laughs> yes, you oh, whoops. <laughs> there you go, get it in up on top. No wonder she was humped up. Girl, open up. This is the butthole, right? Yeah, right under the tail, right underneath right here. it. There you go. Now it's even tighter. <laughs> yeah. yeah. Here you go, just push in. I need to take an anatomy class first, apparently. Wow, that's a weird feeling. <laughs> now take and stick that in the other hole where your hand just was. That'd be right. Oh, she's pooping. <laughs> All right. Now, now slide I'm... it in. Okay. Do you feel anything different? It should be smooth and all once you hit something that feels like a fist. Look at the look on the cow's face. Oh, she's a patient bossy. We got a good one here for you to work on. I'm not the ladies man, my father is. Push, push the plunger. All right, so I'll push the plunger, I'm in. I'm touching the fist, and I'm gonna just slowly squeeze it. Yep. See that, viewers? And here's the release. Oh, she's now getting a little bit more excited. <laughs> good girl. Okay, and then when you get it pushed in, pull everything out. Now she's really excited. All right, I'm pulling out. Oh man, that's tight. That's very okay. tight and warm. 
Yes. That was the first time I impregnated a female. <laughs> and we just got it on camera. <laughs> and my dad was there to show me how to do it. <laughs> All right, Dad, I want to thank you for being featured on Take a Hike, Mike. And I have a gift for you. It's a hike tippicate. Bramer Farms was featured on HCTV's Take a Hike, Mike. Signed, your son, Mike Bramer. So that is for you. Okay. I don't know if it's worth as much as uh, the price of milk, but... Uh, Maybe more. Yeah. <laughs> but you're welcome to display it if you want to. Okay. Display it on the green bin. So, all right, well, thank you so much. Okay. <laughs> well, hello, Mom. Hi, Mike. What are you doing here? Uh, Porter and I have just been watching you and Dad filming your show. Oh, boy, you saw everything? It's very entertaining. Even when those wasps were flying around my head? <laughs> yeah. oh, that has always been an issue with you. Yeah, yeah, it's not pretty. So, <laughs> so I was going to ask you, does Bramer Farms have a website? Mike, you know we don't have a website. That's true. But, but, but. I've got a blog. Really? Mm -hmm. Tell me about it. Mybarnyardview.blogspot.com. Okay. And it's all about farming, recipes, what I do, what I think. <laughs> it's also my news, moves, and reviews. Nice. And is there a blog post about Porter? Um, <laughs> maybe after today when he's a star, maybe yeah, I could do one yeah, for him. there we go. Cool. Well, Mike, it's been really fun watching you and Dad, but you know, I do uh, think there's work to be done. Uh-oh, here it comes. So take a hike, Mike. All right. But come back in time for chores. All right, I will do. All right. <laughs> we'll, we'll see, see you later. See you, Porter. <laughs> Porter, right. wave goodbye. Bye. <laughs> right. Where will I go next? I really can't say. Here's a little warning, because it might be your way. No matter where I go, one thing is true. With Take a Hike, Mike, it's entertainment for you. It's my barnyard view. <laughs> you look so serious. <laughs> Take a Hike, Mike lives on a farm. E-I-E-I-O. That was stupid. Because I'm a farm boy. Work all day, film my show, then I melt the cows. All right. <laughs> Good. That'll be a funny part at the end. <laughs>